thing I do this weekend, and I'm sure you're all caught up on Netflix like we are. Um, I will do another video of some shows that we should not be watching, but we are. But today I wanted to show a technique. I did this holder for the South Dakota show when I did a couple years ago. It's one of my favorite shows of all times. And this is made of yarn. I do not have any yarn in studio today, so we are going to actually be using some ribbon. But this is a holder for a bouquet. And so this is what we're gonna be working on this afternoon. Hold on just a sec. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a piece of the Oasis mesh. Um, we have the gold here. And I don't know if you can see this or not. Jamie should probably get a little bit closer. Yes, Jamie's doing it, but it's right side, so we're good today, right? And we have some off ray ribbon, double satin works, and it's a pretty simple basket weave. And you just go through the mesh all the way through. And this is an item you could do colors of bridesmaids dresses, colors of the weddings you want to bring in. Let's see, you have your basket weave happening. If you want to mix it up, you can add different colors. And then reverse the pattern on the opposite, the next one. Is everybody surviving out there? Everybody's being so creative on social media, which is phenomenal to see. It's getting pretty serious here in Chicago. I keep seeing memes of our mayor everywhere. She is not happy with us as residents at the moment. People need to start taking it serious. Do you see how we're starting to create the basket weave effect there? And then for this, we're gonna add some of this portobello color to create a little accent border. While I'm doing this, I want to chat a little bit about Yes, this might not be for your everyday bride, but doing something like this or some other unique designs is what is ultimately going to help you on Instagram, social media. You think about how many bouquets we see and we see the same ones, but pay attention to the ones you stop at. The ones you're stopping to look at is something unique and something you're not seeing everywhere. This is a little bit more editorial. Do these for photo shoots. For magazine ads, you gotta grasp the attention of your brides. We had mentioned on a feed a while back that do different types for your bridal show. Do something a little bit more unique like this and do something that they're seeing on Pinterest. When I say editorial and photo shoots, many of us end up doing the photo shoots and I'll be honest with you, and I believe in honesty to a fault, as some would say, but the floral division of a photo shoot really does take a lot of the cost out, if you think about it. We're the ones who are using product, and yeah, without the photographer and the invites and every other aspect, it wouldn't be a great shoot, but we're the ones who are actually losing some money on that, right? So how we organize photo shoots, because you know us florists, we always get asked because you can't do a wedding photo shoot without us. Start thinking about it this way. If you're gonna do a photo shoot, make sure everybody has a little skin in the game. And I say that in the sense of, if we're gonna do a photo shoot, after the photo shoot is done, 
we ask that the host location hosts a gallery unveiling of the imagery after it's all said and done. So now what that means is the host location is going to host a little cocktail reception for all of us vendors to invite all of our clientele. So you're multi-inviting everybody. Think about it. If I invite everybody, photographer does, cake does, venue does, dress does, everybody, we're getting a much bigger representation for the imagery. So now we have the venue hosting a cocktail reception for the photo unveiling. We get the person who did the cake to do a uh, tasting. So their company is now part of it. Our invite person would be giving out digital invitations for us to share. Now she's invested in it. Everybody's invested. And your photographer would print some imagery on easels. And so now everybody has an investment in it. And we have this big unveiling party and it means a little bit more. Because what happens normally when you do these style shoots is you all share the imagery for a little bit, but we don't want to keep sharing the same pictures over and over and over again. But now we have pictures of the evening. We have everybody else sharing our stuff. I think it's a great way. If we were to do it, we would actually have one of the bouquets that we're shooting in the shots there on site so people can actually hold it and photograph themselves with it and tag. It's a great way to market yourself. I also want to talk a little bit about having a voice when it comes to photo shoots. There's a, when you get a room full of creatives together, everybody wants the best vision for their own brand, right? It is up to you as the florist to kind of guide that. Yeah, the planner is going to give you an idea of what they want it to be. But if it's not something that fits your brand, maybe it's not the photo shoot for you. And if it's not a collaboration amongst everybody where everybody's voices are heard, maybe review why the photo shoot is being done. Is it being done for one specific person or is it actually being done for everybody involved? So I'm just gonna do one more row of this and kind of show you where we're at. And as you can see, I'm up and over, following this wonderful grid from Oasis that gave us. Oops, that's a bad one, stuck it out. But that gives you an idea of some grid work. So I have one <coughs> finished over here. So do you see how we have a border now of an accent color? I've tied a lot of this off, but what you want to do is at the ends, take your end, flip it through, and knot it off. Over the bar that is there, the wire. And then you're gonna to have to flip it because as you see, this side is covering that. So you wanna flip it back over to where you have this opening of the wire and then feed it through. then what we do is we tie these together to just keep a border going. You could do this for guest tables if you just wanted to do a cylinder and do a corset tie in the back and bring some color up onto vases if you have cylinder vases. There's a lot of other things you can do, but for this we're gonna make the cone. So I'm going to bend it in on itself, corner to corner. I'm going to take this part, feed it through, and tie it off. And you are going to keep doing that 
till you get it completely tied in together. This is a good spot to see, can you see? See how it's starting to close up a little bit here. You could keep the fringe if you want. I probably would cut this off because it's the ribbon. The yarn I like. You could see the yarn fridge. I think that's really pretty. One. Let's see, you got a little accent color played in. This goes back to what I've been saying. Big impact for little product, really. It's a little sheet of the wire, and then you have some ribbon invested and it's a big impact. For now, I'm gonna leave the ribbons on, but I will cut them when we take our final photos just to show you. So we have that. Get a good visual of that. And now I just made a bouquet to show you what it would look like with flowers in it. So I used the four inch pillow from Syndicate Sales. Love these. That made this big bouquet. When I were, when we were to do this, you could do, I don't know if any of you know of Arrive Alive, that is a delivery um, water service for bouquets. It's a piece of foam with plastic on it. You could use that for this. I would put whatever I were to do, you could even do some paper towels around there, something to keep it moist, wrap it in plastic, because I don't want the ribbons to get wet or the yarn to get wet. So this would be wrapped in plastic. and set down into your holder. And then I would take a wire, taped wire through from here all the way through to the other side and just, so that way it keeps it in there. But that is our bouquet in the holder. And these flowers are taking a beating because as you guys know, I've been using the same ones. But what do you think? Something unique you can do. You could have cascade of flowers coming out. You could do pretty much whatever you want. The whole look of this was just to show you what flowers would look like in a, on a holder. So there we have it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later this week. We have multiple projects here that are halfway done because now like we all are doing creative time, right? We're just coming up with different ideas with what we have. So I look forward to seeing you guys this week and have a lovely day. Stay healthy. Bye.